So before we start, I just want to give you a general warning. I'm going to be playing through this adventure game. It's going to spoil everything. And the whole point of adventure games is to play through them yourself, to figure out the puzzles and feel smart. And I want to be taking all of that away from you just to show off how smart I am. I would recommend you not watch this video unless you are sure that you will never, ever play Broken Age. And you don't mind just watching the story and watching me figure things out. That's it. Hey guys, Mizzo here. Today I'm going to be playing through Broken Age. Kind of excited about this. They just finished making the second half, so I'm going to play through the entire thing. Never looked at it before. I have some experience with adventure games, so I feel pretty good about doing this. No cheating, no looking anything up. Let's see how far I can get before I get stuck. I think, yeah, I'm pretty good at adventure games. I think I know a thing about to about Tim Schafer adventure games so I, I have a game plan I'm going to be rude to everybody I'm going to try to steal from people I'm going to try to hurt people and I will try to break anything uh, regardless of whether or not I know that it will help me directly immediately let's see how well that goes let's check out the options why not I like subtitles Looks nice. That's that's a future blanket. That's cool. Oh, I can play. Okay. Girl in the park, future blanket. Uh Girl in the Park. Oh, neat. Interface is, is gorgeous. Whoop. Did she say grandma? Hello. Oh, I guess that's me. Wake up. Is that a towel? Towels are incredibly important. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Am I a baker? Is this a, a baking outfit? I got, is there more? I want to hear more. Where is she? Are you doing this on purpose? Yes. Or did you get eaten by a bear? If so, then I know you're lying because we don't have bears around here. Alright, it might be just looping at this point. Hmm. I don't want to look at stuff. Uh, sugar bunting, where the sweetness is baked right in. that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being... Sounds scared. ominous. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Come on, Pokey! Get a move on! Am I Pokey? Did you call me Pokey? <laughs> I really like to see all the all the different dialogue in these games. Sorry. Are you coming or what? I mean, someone recorded. Them. Someone took the time to do this. It's the least I can do, right? And they're usually really funny. What are you doing? Maiden's feast. Remember? Maybe you're dragging your feet because you are afraid. Come on! 
All right, sorry. Let's just go. Oh, is this some sort of surprise party? Shh. <laughs> surprise! Ah. Whoa. Yay! There's my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can <laughs> we do that after cake? Let's run to Milan for some reason. All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <sighs> this game is flipping gorgeous, by the way. Was anybody complaining about this art style? Are you kidding me? No backing out now. Too many people would see me. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> <laughs> well, number one, click on everything, look at everything. Don't touch the red one. Mom made those just for me. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six. That explains a lot. <laughs> Know where mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now. That's a good point. What is this? Oh, inventory. One of my mom's special dish towels, and it's still dry. If there was a day to splurge, it's today. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Not there. Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late. <laughs> if I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already. Oh. Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Aren't you paying attention in maiden no. training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see, a new grand mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey, are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. She's 80-something? What is Mog Chakra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of grand mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> Maybe she's in a hurry because she doesn't have a lot of time left. If you know what I mean. Where do creatures like Magchathra come from? They come from beyond the plague dam. Alright, you are dropping exposition bombs left and right. I have no clue what you're talking about. I want to go beyond the plague dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Magchathra's stomach. Okay. It definitely sounded ominous, and it was ominous. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. Yeah. You actually imagine that? Eh. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Womp womp. Mog Chopra attacks other towns? Of course. Maryloft just had their maidens feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. <sighs> They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, 
Mag Chakra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. All right, so we got like a King Kong Final Fantasy X type situation going on here. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Where would I? Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Yeah, well, we all know the grandpa has it. I think that's supposed to look like Mom Chathra, my handsome date to the prom. Grandpa Beastender? Huh? Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this maiden's feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl. Stand up for yourself. I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. <laughs> yeah, I would rather not die, given the option. Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Oh, um, no. Yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for I a reason. I knew it. You did what? Oh, nothing. Yeah, achievement unlocked. I talked to somebody. If there was a day to splurge, it's today. For me? <laughs> no, Mom says you can't have any. I'm just showing it to you. Ah, I didn't want it anyway. Uh, that's good. For me? For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. Grandpa Beastender? Huh? Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Oh, no. Yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> he wanted it and I gave it to him and I got nothing. So you never helped the elderly. Definitely somewhere else. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> Uh, why not? So a little jingle place when you pick up an item. Grandpa Beastender? And the icon in the corner blinks. That's pretty cool. Hey Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> Split it with you? Deal. Mwah, mwah. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. Should I talk to her or put the knife on her? It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. That's, that sounds like an aggressive move. It's just going to be. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time, honey? Why don't we just kill Mog Chathra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of. When humor. the monster eats you, this is terrible. Majestic to behold, awe-inspiring, powerful, mysterious, 
But Mog Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. They look, All they look kind of happy about this. He picks some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Show him what you're made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. Right? No, it's not right. Uh, for one thing, I should be in the center. Oh, God. <laughs> I make myself the center of any room I'm in. Center of mass, maybe. No more ugliness, girls. Mog Chocolate responds to beauty. God, this game is gorgeous. Sorry, but beauty is nothing without a little heat. Why don't you come over here and give me a ride? Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? <laughs> it does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, oh but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my oh, Jesus. life. No, me. Sheesh. I didn't even notice a giant turkey leg with the fat girl. That's great. Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not going to work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chafra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us. Oh, to I'm thinking I need that bird leg to. Yeah, get that buzzard over to me. <laughs> okay. What cements it? How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. <laughs> I think I've got a chance to win this. Uh-oh. I hear him. Look, there he is. Uh-oh. You, you can't die in this game, right? I could cut I myself out of this dress. But without that bird, I've gotten oh, right out of here. Uh, I think maybe we should. I mean, want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How 
about something bubbly to wash it down? Actually, I could use a swig of something. Okay, I'll see what I can get you. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Oh god, I've changed my mind! I've changed my mind! Hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. Never can be too thin. This horrible thing? You got a deal. Ooh, what a relief. I feel so much... Oh, I'm sorry. But this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. Oh, that poor girl. Whoa. Oh, no. That should have been me. Okay, here we go. That's right. It's my time. Oh, it's not over. Well, much as I'd like to shred this thing, it might come in handy but later. He's obviously made his decision. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about the slinging corset? Why would I want to hide my best assets from Mark Chopra? He'll be looking for a full-size <laughs> meal after his long trip. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Can I buy that bottle one more time? Keep it. Thanks. I don't need it where oh, I Oh, Jesus. This is way darker than I expected. Saving the best for last? Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about something bubbly to wash it down? Well, thanks. Don't mind if I... Look at me! I'm soaked! Oh god. Quick! Quick! Help me put myself back together! Uh, a little help here? Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? What do you got? Now she could use a towel. I a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You got a towel? Why didn't you say I told you towels were always important. Oh, come on! Oh, <laughs> how long have you been standing there? Are you part vulture or something? <laughs> how can you think about food at a time like this? I could cut myself out of the stress. Without that bird, I've got no ride out of here. Here, birdie. Oh, come on! So close. All right, got it. <laughs> Alright, this girl's awesome.
I kind of want that egg now. Dad, look! Jesse brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. All right, new hub. Uh, I think it's a good place to stop for now. Come back later. Keep playing through this game. Really impressed so far. Looks gorgeous. Puzzles have been pretty cool. Story seems pretty great. Really looking forward to finishing this up.